Hello there, this is the Misanthropic Lord, and welcome to another edition of, uh, I Play a New Game. This is Memoranda. According to the synopsis for this game, you play a female protagonist who is slowly losing her memory. Specifically of her name. I don't know who designed the game itself, who the developer of the game was. In order to do that, I would have to do basic research. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it is supposedly based on a Japanese writer's own short stories. So I'd figure, hey, why not? Let's check it out. Let's see what's going on and see what we have in store for us here. It's a point-and-click adventure game, so it's right up my alley. And I do believe there is some voice acting in here, so I can give my sweet and supple voice a uh, break itself. My friend took this picture on the day I told my husband about getting tired of our boring life. We argued so much that we've been separated since then. Why Why would you tell your friend to take a picture of that? That seems like a weird thing to take a picture of. It's like, TAKE A PICTURE OF THIS! I WANT TO REMEMBER THIS FOREVER! Whatever I did, our picnics always ended with my mother in a grumpy mood. I, I don't understand it. That's why I usually mean plans Again, who's taking instead. this picture? If it's father and mother- who was taking that picture? <laughs> Everyone at high school was so jealous when they saw this photo. You had to have been very lucky to get to see the famous elephant. The famous elephant? I, I guess so. Going together with the most popular girl in school didn't help either. Dear Moriko. <laughs> okay, right, we're already starting off a little dark. Gotcha. You were so pretty and smart. And you loved elephants, just like me. My eyelids are getting heavy. I hope he lets me sleep tonight. Yeah. I miss sleeping. Yeah, I bet a lot of girlfriends say that. <laughs> or guy friends. Or... I I, I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm just going to dig myself a deeper hole, so I'm not even going to worry Did about you it. see that white thing to the right of the open pit? Yes. That thing that looks like a dinosaur yes, fossil. Yes, I do see it. I, I kid, guess it kind of looks like a dinosaur dad fossil. used to bring me here for some fresh air. Okay. The first time we were here... He showed me the white patch of sand and said it used to be a baby dinosaur running from the humans. Uh. But it must have been dark, so the baby dinosaur falls into the pit and starves to death. Well, The story made me more scared of the humans on the other side of the pit than of dinosaurs. Maybe that was my dad's intent. He used to say Ooh, that it's not in giving those me mills a and houses word in edgewise here. The pit, live humans who turn into animals at night and come and steal things from us. I wish it were those stories that I couldn't remember. Although people on the other side of the pit had left years ago, I never found out who actually lived there. I wish you were here, Dad. We could go to the other side and have a closer look. All right, so she's she has a terrible hey, relationship hey. with her mother. Looks like oh, you're come on, asleep. let me at least theorize eyes. a little. Fine, this fine. Go ahead, voice actors, do your thing. No oh! Could you turn your face away? Those terrifying red eyes. What's that? He's smoking there. Leave me alone. <laughs> Have those type How of eyes, man. To torture me. I want to leave you alone, but I can't. Since long ago, when I was a young captain. I couldn't be awake while sailors were asleep. Come on, get up, get out of bed. Don't you have a few days off from work? Go play a little at least. I mean, I'm not going to judge you for the type of relationships you have, random lady. But, uh, you know, you could probably set your sights up a little higher. You know, just, just throwing that out there. <laughs> Yep, he's still there, smoking away into the early hours of the morning. Okay, so what we know about this girl is that she had a terrible relationship with her mother. Uh, her father is dead. Apparently one of her best friends also maybe killed themselves is what I'm thinking might have happened. Oh, there we go. Memoranda inspired by Haruki... Murakami's short stories. So yeah, that is a Japanese name. Okay. What else? And she loves elephants, 
apparently there's a famous elephant. All right, uh, middle click space, right click on game object to have a look, left click. Pretty basic standard point and click adventure game fair. So let's go ahead and take a looky loo around this roomy room and see what we can find. Good thing I have a photo of most of my friends. Otherwise, I would forget their faces thanks to my memory problems. Oh, okay. So it's like Memento, except she's not actively wanting to get revenge on a murderer. I prefer to call them Memoranda. Cool. When I was a kid, every time I wanted to go to classmate's birthday, I would bring one of these. So you, you were one of those kids. The last time I tried to open the door, I couldn't remember what code I had chosen. I don't feel like thinking about this right now. Maybe some. Is that a clue later. just to forget about for now? Because Roger gotcha, one hundred percent. Comfy bed. I wish I could sleep on you with peace of mind. You and me both. Not on your bed, just on my. Never mind. <laughs> that that sounded weird coming out like that. They say the quality of old vinyl are still better than these new stuff. Is the person who sold you the gramophone the guy that my said dad that? Bought me this plant when I was born. It's grown more than I have. Oh what? You still have a plant from when you were born? I I salute your Hi, Misa. green thumbery skills. Nice to see you come and not making noise. Don't worry. Erica will return in a few days and we'll take you back home. Sorry I couldn't spend enough time with you. Meow meow, don't worry. Also, Mizu Mizo is a fantastic name for a cat. I love that. I love it for a pet in general, honestly. Fit well in this game, so I'm not gonna waste my time. D wait, did you just break the fourth wall? Already? What? How far into this episode are we? Like six minutes? All right, that's the type of game it's gonna be. I feel safer with the map. Me too. I'm a big map guy myself. I love cartography in all its simplicities, or complexities. <laughs> you know, you can do either with maps, honestly. Kidney-shaped stone. Okay. Come to me, my dear kidney stone. So many questions already. Why Why is it a kidney stone? Why is it floating up into the air like it's got some anti-gravity on it? Why is it outside my apartment to begin with? And why do I need to pick it up? Those are just a few different questions I have about that one precise moment. Good day. Hey, we're, we're starting off on the right foot here. Why did Jack close up this place for good? What's even more odd is that none of us ever tried to find out why. Until right now. Ooh. Oh, I'm gonna hate that. I remember the last movie shown here was The Wood Elves Battle. When I was a child, this Mr. Juggalo was my favorite actor in the <laughs> Mr. Movie. Juggalo, huh? Yeah, big uh, ICP fan, huh? Yeah, he looks it. <laughs> What's under the rug? It looks like a photo. Let's go ahead and take a looky-loo. Uh, that's gonna get annoying real quick. Uh, how do I get to my inventory again? Okay. I, I swear I read it the first time, and I didn't forget. I'm just playing the character, you know? She forgets constantly. What a photograph. So this fellow Jack was friends with the elephant in wait. the Wait. Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. So the elephant is actually, like, a bipedal sentient friend person? Instead of just like it's an nice elephant at the circus, so it's like a real acrobat. My old sister's only cut paper now. Okay. I uh, hate. You know what? Fine. Hey, I'm gonna press the I believe button on that. I'm surprised the elephant. Why did I just do that? Well, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I I felt like maybe I could do some like cut. I I don't know what the hell I was trying to do. I saw photos. So why is that still there? Is there any explanation? Oh, okay, there's question number five right there. Hey, what are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to stay in the inventory? Stay still. There's another fourth wall breaking thing right there. What is that kidney stone for? Why does it? I, I have. No it's just a kidney shaped stone. Kidney stones. No living. S what? Where am I? <laughs> what? What universe is this that I'm living in? Also, a fun fact, I do like that her address on her door is 1921, Hello? and it looks like she's in 1920s dress. So I do appreciate that. Tell me where you disappeared to? What? None of my business. <laughs> what do you mean you'll come back in a while? 
Ooh. Ooh, this voice actor is having a rough time of it. Frankly, I don't trust you anymore. <laughs> the in the inflections are just a little a little off. Hold on. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I really should make fun of it, but but that was a, that was a pretty bad read. You might have wanted a, a couple more takes on that. Hi, little girl. What are you doing? Hi, little girl. Drawing in the hallway. What's your name? I don't think I've ever seen you around here. Hmm. Uh, really? Nothing? Don't want to talk to me? Don't be scared. I live in this building. I can't talk to you because you don't have children. Wow. Uh, judgmental little girl. You know, I <laughs> I could show you a little couple girl? of Tumblr what pages then? if you want to. I'll print them out right now and just hand them to you. That should change your mind about, this door. about the way you Literally think about women. She is so angry. Cool. All right. Uh, let's see. Kardash has to make up a new system every time to identify who knocks at his door. If he has to do it every time, then how do people know that they're being identified by the knock on his door? Does he, like, tell them? Does he give them a heads up that he's going to give them a specific... What is... Kardash knock system. Um... Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna let anyone who makes that much of a racket into my own. That's Kardash's voice, huh? Okay. All right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, so we got a little bunch of sign functions. Uh, sign plus squiggle line bar graph check mark on the. Uh, and then there's like a circuit right there. With a couple of resistors and uh I have I have no idea. I have no idea what this is trying to say. Is this something that I can solve right now? Um This This does not seem to have anything that I can readily see. Unless it's like I should I should put the sign function on top of this card system right here? No. No, that did not work in the slightest. S um, sorry. Sorry, too many simulant S's. Don't want to ma make sure that it's uh, still good enough for the audio to listen to the sound of my melodious voice. Okay, I get it, alright. Well, you know what? I'm gonna leave that for right now. I have I'm not sure what the answer to that is at all. I don't even think there was if really a clue. New, you may try and read this to get the news. Little would you know, this newspaper has been here for weeks. Well, technically, newspapers are dated, so I should I would be able to figure that out. It's <laughs> this big fall. mystery. He went to a different continent a few years ago. And is working on his second movie now. A name to remember. He's got a couple of, uh... I totally remember uh, what are they the called? day Jack put up this poster. These? I even bought the text myself. Jack drinks so much coffee and tea that he has to keep the fan on all the time. Are those two things connected? <laughs> Everything in this flat smells old. This clock is always behind. And the calendar on the table is from six years wow. ago. Wow. She calls it a flat, but she has an American accent. Hey, Jack. Oh, I'm sure he's going to make a remark about my name. Welcome back. Any news from your name? Or is it still playing? I guess you called it. What did I just tell you? Yeah, you did. It's like it's now right where it belongs. But I have to remind you, it is a secret. I don't want the neighbors to hear about it. Sure, sure. No secret leaves this house. Especially one about the quietest resident we've ever had here. Well, who's that? Tell me now. For the last six months, I'm the only person who's entered my flat. 
Haha, <laughs> not that I, I'm not looking for anyone to enter my flat with me. <laughs> it's not like I, I mind being alone and all by myself and, and I can't remember what my own name is. It's fine. It's fine. I'm happy. I'm the happiest person in the world. I'm going to get another cat and I'm going to name him Naguri and it's going to be great. I'm going to have a fantastic time you can just do the things that you want to do and you can you can gossip about me all you want because i don't care like i am it wouldn't have escaped that way good job hey hey thanks for being here i appreciate you hi morta are you still looking for your cat i can't take this anymore how can a cat go straight up a tree and never come down that's kind of what they do down when you weren't looking no way I waited under that tree for hours. I was dizzy for days. I looked up at it so long. A cat can uh, okay. disappear in a blink of an eye. Especially male cats who forget their owners this time of year. Yeah. But he'll be back. My cat wasn't like that. He'd never go more than 100 yards from here. Also, how would he get out with that dog guarding the end of the alley? I walk these streets a lot. If I see him, I'll bring him back. That would be so kind of you. I hope you find your name soon, too. I have heard a lot about your ordeal. Yeah, thanks. No one was supposed to know about my problem. I know who's been talking. Bitch, who's been talking to you? <laughs> okay, alright, so Manager Man's been giving up my info. Roger, check Raj. Well, guess I'll just have to add another name to the list. The list of people to talk very firmly to. And to I have think many people would like to have a tanuki. A tanuki? Oh, I love tanukis. I would love to have a tanuki in my my well, I say my home. I would mean to say oh, my town village thing. On the roof. Yeah. I, how how is she able to see that cat on the roof? Wow. Wow. I don't know. She must have a oh, psychic God's presence or something. To play by the sea. Um, I think that is a little judgmental about Many what God's ago, children should and should not be doing. Unless square, God's children are square. kites and by the be by the beaches, by the sea. And let, like God is like a big old kite. And by flying kites, we are actually sacrificing to him in the form Never mind. I have no idea where I was gonna go with that. I just I confused myself. With that, <laughs> with with that tangent, so good. All right, great, great job. So I can press F to show everything in the scene. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, okay, cool. So I can go into that door over there. That's home. There we go. The bakery. Hey, hey, baker man, bake me cake as fast as you. Whoa, uh oh, uh oh, the LSD is kicking in. <laughs> Gonna have a bad trip in a bakery. Was I falling asleep? Um, <sighs> no. I don't know. Just my eyes going blurry. So you need glasses? Perhaps I will have to drag myself like a semi-conscious corpse through life forever, and forget the joy of sleeping. Semi-conscious corpse. I wish I could collapse right here. Doesn't and really no make sense. Bother me for a few days. What if I fall in and hit my head once and lost a part of my memory? Uh, and then, why do I not forget other things? If someone asked my name right now, I might confuse everything. Miss Mizuki? Miss Mizuki? Is that her name? <laughs> Is that it? That's her name? The donut guy knew it? Hello? Uh, Miss Mizuki, can you hear me? Oh, sorry. I thought you were talking to someone else. Well, let's get back on topic. Can you tell me to whom Wagner wrote of his fascination with Schopenhauer and Tristan? Franz Liszt. What? <laughs> Impressive. Now tell me, Wagner's wife wrote that he remained unsatisfied with which opera? Townhouser? Huh. How did you know? Whoa, wait a minute. Was there just like a, a secret code thing that happened there? I feel like there's <laughs> there's a presence from Umbrella Corporation here. And she's like patient zero. Can I can I get it on? I hope a little sugar won't affect my brain. Uh, excuse me, if you would like to pay for that. Whoa, well, enough. I don't think I'm ready to memorize the whole history of music. 
Okay, what would I know? I promise, if you listen to Wagner an hour a day, you won't get vertigo. Wagner gives me vertigo. What? Wagner gives you vertigo? It, it feels like... It feels like that wasn't even a conversation. It was like a word soup. It's like someone took some some proper nouns and just put it into a bag and shook it up with a bunch of verbs and adjectives and just splayed it out on a on a table and was like, okay, well, let's see what we can make with this. Can I can I eat the donut? Some people get lucky and make it. <laughs> what what does that mean? This this game is 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 messing with me. I gotta be honest. This game is is like blowing my mind a little bit. What if I give you a donut, little girl? How about that? Would you like a donut from Mr. Donut? Uh huh. I love those donuts. Don't tell my mom I had one. I won't. Don't I won't. Worry. Don't worry. I won't tell your mother anything about this non-lace donut. Oh, hey, girl! Wow! Mr. Who? He killed that donut. Has someone disappeared again? Didn't you hear his wife shouting on the phone? He was the only neighbor without children that I was friends with. Because he liked animals. And whenever he made spaghetti, he would bring me some. I did hear his wife, but thought it was just a domestic quarrel. Sounds like an interesting man. Do you miss him? Of course I miss him. How are you living in this building and still didn't realize Mr. Spaghetti ran off? Honestly, I don't know. I haven't been paying a lot of attention. Obviously. Uh -huh. Well, if he comes back, could you give him this film canister? We're moving out. Wait, wait, wait. Where did you have that? Sure. By the way, I should bring you some homemade donuts. Then you'll have two grown-up friends. Mr. Spaghetti and Miss Donut. Yeah, whatever. If you have another donut, I'll take it. But uh, the conversation's over now, so thanks. Just let me draw, okay? Thanks. There, there it is again. Cool. Hey, I, I got hey. this flavor text already. It's fine. Okay. Oh, oh, can I open up this film canister? It might be a good idea to have a look inside this Okay, box. so, and now can I put... This looks yeah, like okay, I, I got you. That's, yeah, that's where I'm going with this. Can I put this kidney stone in? Okay, I did it. How much noise it makes. Okay, so I made a noisemaker. I wish I could see what's recorded on this reel. Good, I guess. Maybe? I don't know. Adventure games! Let's do it. Hooray! Do I have anything that I can play this with? Um, it looks like I've hit everything. That's a really, that's a really nice function. Having F be the... Oh, oh, you're lost? Okay, well, let me show everything to you like a dumbass that you are. I get it, okay. So, can I open this up, please? No. Why did Jack close up this place? Okay, alright. Um, I would like to play the movie that I have, please. If that is okay with you. No. Maybe. What a photograph. Yeah, okay, cool. I'm surprised. The um... Okay. Well, maybe I can get the guy downstairs to open it up for me, maybe? I don't know. Up, 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 up. That's not letting me do anything. Okay. Roger. Check Rog. Uh, no, I don't want to mess with the knock system anymore. At least right now. How are you, Jack? Hey, Jack. Can you open up the thing so I can get inside, please? By the way, I've been meaning to ask you something. There we go. I just remembered as I saw the closed doors of the movie theater. What is it? I hope you're not adding something new to my responsibility. <laughs> Great job. Why did you stop the weekly film screenings there? Because we couldn't get the money to buy a new player. Also, the neighbors aren't very sociable. It's hard to get them all together at the same time. I remember you had a collection of the best 35mm films. Let's set it up again. Please, I, I have a puzzle I need to complete. A friend of mine borrowed them and never gave them back. It ruined our friendship. Why don't you go to his house and ask for your films? Ah, I'm over it now. No time for old films. But if you want them so much, why don't you go yourself? Take this road straight up until you get to the square. His house is one of the first houses. It's got a blue door and there's a large sign hanging on Cool. Blue door, red roof. Jack's friend's house. Doesn't even tell me the guy's name. Okay, well, alright, I guess I'll go get the stuff that you lent your friend and it ruined your relationship with him, but you don't care enough to get it back yourself, even though he lives a couple houses away. Fine, sure, yeah, okay, I'll do that for you. 
But hey, if you guys like this, please like, share, and subscribe, and let me know if you want me to keep playing it. This is looks like it might be a little weird on the weird side. And as always, this is the Misanthropic Lord, signing off. Have a good one, guys. Do you have enough socks? You need plenty of socks, it's very cold there. Mama, you packed the suitcase yourself. It's stuffed with socks. Holla bird, holla bird for Vienna. You will write your mother, won't you? Every day, Papa, I promise. But they, they both have purple, come on. You're such a liar, but I love you anyway. All aboard! Last call for Vienna! Mama, let the boy go. He will get in trouble if he's late.